three year longitudinal study that aimed to do two things. One, it aimed to capture the impact of self-managed personal budgets for individuals. And two, it aimed to assess the processes and practices as we went along. For people who have taken personal budgets, who have been involved in the longitudinal study, um, what we know is that after two to three years, that they are saying to us themselves that this has made a significant difference in terms of how they are able to live their lives, the quality of their lives, and how their care and support is provided. What we've seen is we've seen the whole journey from the perspective of a service user. Um, we have seen how practitioners have managed and embedded the personal budget agenda within their kind of day-to-day -day operations and we're starting to see how service providers are thinking differently about uh, service users as customers. And I think one of the, the, the impacts we've seen is an understanding from all three of those groups that the primary relationship now becomes one between the service user and the service provider and, and not one between the service provider and local authority. We understand the benefits of personalisation. What we now need to do is ensure that how we operate as the public sector in supporting that and not just local authorities but how with our partners in health, um, with um, housing, how we work differently in our, with our communities, that's all going to be part of the next phase of the work. One of the interesting insights into the project was that the service users were individuals um, with physical and sensory impairments, uh, older people and those with learning disabilities as well. And what we've seen is uh, an attractiveness, an appetite for personal uh, budgets from all three of those groups. It's interesting because since we started this journey in 2007, um, the economic climate is so different and it is a very uncompromising environment that we both now work and live in. But what we've seen is that um, personalisation um, has continued to progress and develop. We have seen some incredible innovations from um, people who require care and support and um, organisations such as ECDP and other organisations about how they're responding to that agenda in what are very different circumstances. The conclusions uh, that we've reached are that one, that there is an appetite for personal budgets uh, and that comes from the service user, the practitioners and increasingly I think the market providers who are seeing opportunities to um, offer different things to, to service users. I think we are seeing, um, or it's being reinforced, that the challenges that we knew that were going to exist in terms of the, the system um, to deal with personal budgets are there, but there is a real commitment from the local authority to address those. Um, and we're starting to see uh, a different culture um, and different way in which people think about personal budgets and think about how best to address people's outcomes. No longer is it about the local authority being the commissioner of services within the market. It is about um, really working on that relationship between the citizen and the providers and changing our role as a local authority to facilitate and enable that to happen. And again, we've made that